Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Slenderman Stabbing Survivor Remarkable Recovery. So I am um, I've seen a little bit about the Slenderman thing. Slenderman everything. I don't know what the what is going on with Slenderman. This was like years ago, like that. Look, look, six years ago this happened. And I'm late to the party, I guess. Learning about Slenderman last night. Well, I haven't learned about Slenderman last night. I just like... So, here we go. So, this video is apparently about this girl who got stabbed, apparently, I guess. T News exclusive. You're gonna meet a young... It's too loud. So, you guys can actually hear me. I'm putting down the volume. With an extraordinary story of survival. She All was right. the victim of a crime that shocked parents everywhere. Yes, Stabbed 19 times, allegedly oh. by two of her friends, who said yeah. they were trying to impress a fictional internet character called Slenderman. Oh, yeah, Slenderman. Apparently, if you kill someone in the woods, you can, like, impress Slenderman and you won't kill anyone of yours. Now, for the first time, the girl and her parents are going on camera, and ABC's David Muir, anchor of World News Tonight, has our report. Wait, is that her? She's in the background? Oh, no, that's the She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. What? Stabbed. Well, yeah. Waukesha, Wisconsin, Thank just outside guys. Milwaukee. And on a Saturday morning this past May, a horrific tale is just beginning to emerge. Is there any bleeding going on? And duh! Her clothing has got blood on it. Okay, and you found yeah, her she, she was just laying there? She's not bleeding. Yeah. A birthday sleepover with three 12-year-olds the night Birthday! Before. And now two girls are missing. The other, Peyton Leitner, has somehow crawled out of the woods, covered in stab wounds. Nineteen of them. She's now being wheeled into the operating room. Having just told her mother, her friends did this to her. Well, yeah. They had run away. And, and the police hadn't found them yet. And we just knew that Peyton told us Morgan stabbed her. And the police hadn't been able to find the girls. Morgan the stabbed her. believe those girls were walking. Yeah. They were going to find a mansion in the woods. Oh, the mansion. Yeah, the mansion in the woods. They were going to the Nicolay Forest. Yeah. Wait. Is it, does Slenderman have a mansion? Hey, they were talking about a mansion. They were trying to find the mansion in the woods. Slenderman doesn't. Does he even have a mansion? Is he stacked? What is this? They believed that there was a mansion there that Slenderman lived in. Oh, so yeah. Incredibly, Slenderman police mansion. say those girls were now headed to find a mansion where they believed a fictitious internet character truly lived. Seriously? A character named Slenderman. The police say they were hoping what if people to have like just outside that house in yet? that town. A major search by ground. These and are the air woods air. where the stabbing police actually are still on the scene. A frantic search for the two missing Morgan, Morgan Geyser and, and Anissa Wire. Two 12 year old girls stabbing their friend nearly to death what? is unimaginable anytime, oh, yeah, especially for a safe community yeah, like the city life. of Waukesha. While back at the hospital, the surgeon, John Kellerman, is about to discover just how much damage has been done. What? The knife came directly down at this what? point where this large branch was coming what? off of this major artery and cut through the tissue overlying oh, it so that the vessels were tissue? totally exposed by this exactly. injury. The knife cut through the tissue, but not the artery itself. Exactly. Oh, the knife thing. stopped at the wall of the artery. At and least had it not... Had it not, she would have uh, had a major heart attack from the amount of bleeding and probably died within a minute or two. Oof, that uh, close to death, sorry. nearly five hours after Peyton crawled out of those woods, two other much. girls are found. They were right here found? along Interstate 94, heading out of Waukesha. A knife with a five-inch blade found in one of the girls' what? bags. Police Chief Russell that's Jack that's takes us back to the spot. Both suspects had blood on their clothes. Knife from the stabbing was located in the backpack that was in the possession of the two suspects. Ooh. Police say they were carrying clothes, granola bars, water bottles. One of the girls carrying a picture of her mother and father and siblings. She oh, I think I know. Okay, so obviously they were going to go on the run for a while. So granola bars are about water. Yeah, good. And obviously, if Slender Man, obviously, probably, if it didn't work, they would have killed his family. And they wanted pictures of him so they could remember everything. But to remember what they looked like after leaving her town for that imaginary mansion in the woods. Neither girl puts up a fight. Taken into custody, they would soon be questioned. Two parents yeah. were about to ask their daughter what happened to. 
At first, Peyton couldn't talk, writing to communicate. Do you remember the first mm -hmm. message she wrote? I want to go home. I want to go home. When can I go home? Has Peyton talked at all about the horror of that moment? She told me she was scared. But the first time I asked her what she remembered about what happened, she said, all I remember is the pain. How well did you know these, these two other girls? It was uh, Peyton's best friend. There was no question in your mind that they were best friends. Oh, they were best, they were best friends. friends. So we're about fourth grade. Fourth grade is when fourth we met Morgan grade. for the first well, how time. How old is she? They would talk to Morgan every night on the phone. Uh -huh. Were there ever any red flags? They would have little arguments, but every 12-year-old yeah. girl has little arguments. Everyone has little Across arguments. Across town at the Waukesha Police Department, the two other friends at that sleepover now answering questions of their own. Yeah. Ellen Gabler is a reporter at the Milwaukee you Journal. You better Journal. talk! Follow this case closely. Talk right now and tell me what you did! Or else... Ah... Uh, wait... I don't know... I could... Um... Th throw you a tissue! So you could... Don't make fun of me! The thing that was the most surprising and shocking to me was how planned out this whole thing was. A plot they tell police that was in the works for months. Months? This is actually 12 year olds, especially 12 year olds. What girls. are they doing? They tell police they committed this crime in part out of their devotion to a De character they discovered on the internet. Devotion? Slender Man. Oh. A tall, faceless, mysterious figure. He looks a ugly. A fictional character who lurks in the background, sometimes peering over <laughs> the <laughs> The girl's a The of Slender Man changing, evolving all the time. With help from fans all over is the that world, a problem? I'm adding oh. to the story online. I'm getting it. Character he probably got bullied every day. He is uh, he looks uh, like the he thing has that we fear that we don't actually encounter, right? So we check our we check under our beds for the Slender Man, but he's you know not actually there. Don't do that. Not there because he doesn't exist. Oh well, yeah. Listen to what these two girls begin to tell me. <laughs> Anissa Wire revealing to investigators it was Morgan's idea to kill Peyton we to prove themselves, quote, worthy to Slender Man. Worthy. Anissa telling police her friend suggested, quote, we should be proxies for Slender. Like, is that good? The girls were very clear with police that they were trying to kill the victim. They wanted to do it as, as a sacrifice to Slender Man. And in excruciating detail, they described multiple plots, all beginning with that Friday night sleepover. They had originally planned to kill their friend Whoa. that night in Morgan's house. That's but for some sleeping. reason, at that moment, the girls changed their minds. They brought her here to the park on Saturday morning to kill her in this bathroom. Wow. Their big concern was finding a drain for the blood to go down. But once inside that park bathroom, something happens between the girls now hatching their second plot. There was a back and forth between Morgan and Anissa about who was going to stab the girl. Um, wow. Both of them chickened out, essentially. And Wait, said that, the person that does it will be more worthy. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, don't do it. Ah! I think it was me. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go. I came back from the dead. Hello. They told police they couldn't do it. Oh, let's go. But there would be one more plan. She had an extra time. The it girls leave that bathroom and walk down a nearby road to the woods. Whoa. Peyton's parents take me there, revealing to me what their little girl told them. They got to the park and they told her they wanted to play hide and seek in the woods. And she told me she didn't want to go. She sensed it. Yeah, she did say she was forced to go. Yeah. In fact, the girls tell police about that game of hide and seek. Anissa and the victim were hiding. Anissa told her to lay down in the dirt and, and she didn't want to. Anissa tells police she sits on Peyton and that Peyton says to her, I can't breathe. Anissa tells investigators she was thinking, if I sat on her, Morgan could then stab her. At that point, one girl says to the other, just go crazy. Yeah, yeah. A short time later, Anissa tells police Morgan takes the knife, turns to her friend and says, I'm not going to until you what? tell me to. What? Anissa says she then told Morgan to, quote, go ballistic, go crazy. Peyton is stabbed 19 times, That's stumbling, not a, well, trying to get up. Where on earth like do you think she got the strength to crawl out of those woods? And not a stab in the heart that hurt. Well, we asked her, and she said I wanted to live. 
Uh-oh. And tonight, oh, for the first time, Peyton. Thank you, Ryan, for the In the one place that now makes her smile the most, the animal shelter not far from her home. Oh, yeah. Reading a poem, she shows me her favorites. There are too many to count. Her parents yeah. wanted me to see her smile again. She has the most beautiful smile. Did that disappear? Yeah. For a little while. Cry. We see peaks of it every once in a while. Do you feel like your daughter's been stolen from you? For the time being. Aww. We'll get her back. Yep. The smiles we then saw looking at her notebooks, the ones with the kittens on the front. Cry. Observations from the ground. Some people would say she's doing remarkably well given what's happened to her. Don't give her memories of her friends. I would I just say that um, <laughs> way beyond <laughs> expectations. I'm astonished at the way that she's been able to recover. I'd be traumatized. And tonight, like... we are happy to show you the pictures. Her walk down the driveway to the car. Mom, I, driving I'd her not back be able to school. To anywhere again. She's an amazing child. She's meant to do something special. I, I, I don't want to. She's here for a reason. I want the after. I want to be with a lot of cats. Don't worry, guys. This video is not over. We're watching a second video. I got it over here. Wait, here is I because I I wanted you guys to saw Slenderman Nua. I was gonna search up news, but it'll put out Nua. Okay, so we are also gonna see the how she describes the horrific horrific ordeal, which was this one was one year ago, and a, who's Morgan Noah. I think it's a different case, or maybe I forgot what her name. But yeah, Morgan was sentenced 40 years in prison in a mental institution. At Verizon, Not we the are time. committed to closing America's digital divide. Leave behind no stupid. We are invested. What is this? Do you feel like you're a survivor? Yeah, I shouldn't be alive. I really shouldn't after what happened. For the first time, oh, yeah. Kate Leitner is talking about that day five years ago. Three 12 year olds at a slumber party, and the next morning, a walk into the woods Whoa. to play hide and seek. Do you remember leaving the park to go to the woods? They just wanted to go on a walk, and I didn't think much of it. It's just a walk. It's in Waukesha. Like, what bad stuff happens in Waukesha? I know. Peyton was stabbed 19 times and left for dead by her own friends, who later blamed the fictional character Slenderman. Oh, wait. So her name was Morgan. She was sentenced 40 years. You know what? Let them watch that one. Count again. When I was five feet away, I said, now go ballistic, go crazy. Stab, stab, stab. Go like Jimmy Jones. Suspects lured the victim into the woods. All three of the girls were 12 years old. Have you ever heard of two 12 year old girls planning for six months to kill one of their best friends? The whole time, Peyton was screaming. Mm -hmm. and I didn't want to do this. I didn't have to do this. I was afraid of what would happen if I did. Oh! What? What the what? May 30, 2014. It's Friday night in Waukesha, Wisconsin, a Milwaukee suburb. Peyton is getting ready to celebrate her best friend Morgan Geyser's birthday lie, at that slumber party. Peyton was so, so. Why are you even there at the camera the like this? Met in fourth grade, Peyton drawn to Morgan. You know what? They're all like, look at the camera. Friend. I made friends with her when I saw that she didn't have any friends what? at all. Also at that sleepover, Anissa Wire, who was new to the school and who had grown close to Morgan. I guess it was a they big mistake. up in Morgan's bedroom, ran up and down the stairs giggling and laughing and I, I mean it was just a normal like, night my bed on, I, I get like there the, was nothing the, normal even in the woods I'd be like getting flashbacks when yeah, Morgan so and Anissa cute. suggest they all go to the park and then to the woods I'm, together I wish my name was and Anissa Dave, told me to yeah, lie I own that park and like cover myself in like sticks and leaves and stuff but it was really just a trick oh, yeah. while playing hide and seek then came Anissa's command and Morgan attacks Peyton with a knife Morgan said yeah, Don't she said. What? What the what? Did you, you fart? Remember when it started? Kind of. I didn't feel anything because my body was in shock. Happy they told me to time. lay down. You'll lose blood slower. Like we're gonna go get help. She tried to get up. 
I'm a witness. I got up and nothing. Walked until I hit a patch of grass where I could lay down. Bicyclist notices Peyton bloody and lying in the grass. He calls 911. Officer Dan Klein is the first on the scene. I asked her who did this, and she told me her friend Morgan. Peyton tells paramedics she's been stabbed. They asked how long was the knife, and she said that the the knife was about like this, and she was talking about the blade, not the handle. Her mother、What? rushes to the hospital just before Peyton is taken into surgery. I said, "You're going to be okay. It's going to be fine." But I could see that she was covered. Her arms and her legs and her abdomen were covered in stab wounds. The surgeon treating Peyton told me if the stab wound to the chest had been the width of a human hair deeper, she would not have survived. Whoa. While Peyton、up. fights for her life,、missing. police are searching everywhere for the two girls. It was about 2:53 in the afternoon. I had gotten、uh, a message that the sheriff's department had located the yeah, girls. Yeah, we get it. We get it. We get the rest of the story. <laughs> so、uh, this is what I this is what I actually saw. What I saw that all the time I noticed about the Slenderman. This is um. This is the one. So th- we're gonna see Morgan Sayer sentenced to forty years. So she, they're like twelve. She's gonna be like fifty-two after she gets out of there. In a mental institution too. Like they will teach her not a、uh, slender man is not real, dude. Dude, yeah. Slender man is not real. That's what they were singing. Ah!、Oh. Today in breaking news, we are going to talk about this. Um, not ugly. Maybe I actually I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Morgan Sayer sentenced forty years in a mental institution. That's it. Bye, guys. I'm sure. Now what's gonna happen? All right. Breaking right now at five. Forty years in a mental、yeah. institution. The sentence for Morgan Geyser, charged in the Slender Man stabbing case.、Oh. Geyser and her friend Anissa Wire stab classmate Peyton Lightner、yep. nineteen times. The crime carried out to please the fictional character Slender Man. Pete Zerbakis was in the courtroom for the sentencing. He joins us now live with more Pete. Well, George, just minutes before that forty years sentence was handed down, down, a crying Morgan Geyser said sorry. It's been almost three and a half years since Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire lured their classmate into the woods in Waukesha, stabbed her 19 times, and left her to die. I just want to let Bella and her family know I'm sorry. Today, this was Geyser's message to the surviving victim. <laughs> Never meant this to happen. Girl, calm down. We can barely understand you. I hope. Calm down. He's doing well. Geyser and Wire said their motive to become proxies of the fictional horror character Slenderman.、Yep. Geyser pleaded guilty last year. The deal called for a mental hospital, not prison. Today in court, prosecutors asked for the maximum 40 years in a mental institution. Really, Judge, it, it is a miracle that Peyton is still with us. Geyser's attorneys did not argue for immediate release, but wanted a sentence in the range of 25 years of state supervision. She's 15. Uh, uh, I think having her supervised or monitored until she's 40、um, is is a reasonable length of time. Yeah, it is. Now, Geyser can ask the court for release starting in as soon as six months. We should note, were she to be released either to a less restrictive facility or into the community, she would remain under supervision for that entire 40-year、oh. sentence. In the meantime, you might remember that Anissa Wire was sentenced to 25 years late last year. She's not eligible for release until 2020. Live in Waukesha, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ. Clearly tormented.
Let's say, say, 2020. Wait a second. No! It's 2021. Oh, she's out there. Ah, wait. Maybe she hasn't still found out. Wait a second. Give me a moment. Okay, oh, this is the last one. This is, um, instead of being Morgan, this is Anissa Wire. Who's gonna describe the stabbing? Alright, let, let's watch this. Playana at the park. Um, this was around 10 o'clock. Alright. Um, we went to the park. The I didn't realize time. that it was actually going to have lifted up her waistband and showed me the handle of the knife. Whoa. Um, we went into, we were just playing on the playground for a while. We went, after a while, we went into the bathroom. Um, Morgan told me to stab Peyton. I told her that I couldn't do it. Whoa. Uh, she tried getting me to do it again. I told her that I couldn't do it. Um, well, guys, I don't care about what she has to say. She just takes too long. If you guys like this video, then hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see new videos come out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys, and peace out.